Hello, welcome to Ready API, an integrated suite of applications for API testing. In this video, we will learn about the configuration of REST request parameters and bodies in Ready API. A parameter is an argument you can pass with the request. To demonstrate how parameters work, let's import the definition of the Pet Store API. Ready API supports several types of parameters. The query parameters pass data to the server in the form of key value pairs at the end of the request URL. They are separated from the resource path by the question mark and from each other by ampersands. With this request, you commanded the server to return a list of pets with the sold status. The template parameters, also known as path parameters, are variable parts of the resource path. Here, the pet ID parameter specifies the ID of the pet you want to retrieve from the server. The header parameters pass data through request headers. The matrix parameters in Ready API are added to the end of the resource path and separated by semicolons. They are rarely used and not defined in the Pet Store API, so their addition will have no effect on what response you get to this request. The plain type is used in Ready API for omitting parameters from the request without deleting them so that you can easily restore them if needed. Now let's create a test step from the request. When you open up that test step in SOAP UI, you will see request parameters. Here, you can change their values, but you can't add or remove parameters or configure their options. To do that, you'll have to return to projects. Parameters can be defined at the method or resource level. Parameters defined at the method level, like this parameter, only apply to requests under the specific method. As you see, requests that use other methods do not have this parameter. Parameters defined at the resource level apply to all methods under this resource. As we change the level to resource, the parameter appears in other requests to the resource. Method level parameters can also be configured here in the method editor, and resource level parameters can be configured here in the resource editor. There are other options you can configure for parameters. If you want to denote that the request must have the parameter specified, even if the value is empty, check the required option. If the option is unchecked, parameters with empty values will be omitted from the request. By default, query, template, and matrix parameters can only include certain characters. All the other characters are encoded. If you need to send characters as is, check Disable Encoding. Some methods, such as post, put, and delete, can be used to send a body. The API definition will contain sample bodies that you can customize to send data to the server. The server uses the media type passed with the request to determine how to handle the body. You can choose a media type from the drop-down list or enter your own. The body is in the JSON format, so the media type is set to application slash JSON. If the media type does not correspond with the actual body format, the server won't be able to handle the request. If your service requires that request should be in the application slash xwww form URL encoded format, check the post query string checkbox. In this case, query parameters that you specified will be passed in the body instead of the URL. All right, now you are familiar with the basics of working with REST parameters and bodies in Ready API. Check our other videos to learn about attachments, property transfer, and more. And thank you for watching.